Oh, and this will be on YouTube, unedited. Oh, well, maybe. Okay, we are in the B section what now. Should I expect to find the ground crew in? Daniel went missing days ago. Chris is presumed dead. Oh, Jesus. We are expecting to find Sarah, Mikhail, and Sochi in a stable condition. Chris is dead? He was involved in an accident. Oh. Sad face. Okay, that closes that. Okay. So let's pull the switch. Because that will open this door for now. Um. Pull this switch. I don't think I need that there now. I hope I didn't need that. Okay, can I? Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't. Overthinking things again. Overthinking things. So that was B1. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? What the frick was that? Could we take a more direct way to the ground team? Unfortunately, there is not a direct route. The base is buried under ice to protect it from the radiation of space. Okay. Similar to the Mars base. Similar. Europa's base is slightly deeper into the surface. Hmm. There is more radiation present from solar events on Mars. But Mars's surface is denser than that of Europa. Excuse me, how am I supposed to get this up there? I can't climb a ladder. Uh... That audio just now. So there's apparently a B-16 and that's where I will find the... Um... Oh, Jesus. Okay, so... Oh, I'm sorry. Am I looking through things through a visual perspective of a camera? Because if I am, that would make sense about why a magnet would cause static. But if I'm not, there's something wrong here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I need to take out the power from you. And I can't. Oh, I literally cannot take the power out from you. I hope I can grab that then. Oh, thank Christ I can. Oh, great, another one. Oh, actually, yeah, no, I'll just do it this way. Can you just hang on to this thing thing? Thank you. Did you? Okay. I was like, did you just... Up, 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 up. How can I... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I did not... Well, actually, who knows what, like, strong radiation would do to a person. This! What is this? Is this, like, a problem with the game? Okay, what are their chances of survival here? Oxygen, the food stores, waste management. Everything seems to be in order. There was a small problem with the food stores, but the crew fixed that up. We successfully transitioned over to a sustainable small artificial ecosystem a year ago. Growing fruit and vegetables. It helps boost morale, amongst other things. The crew members could hypothetically survive here for their whole lifetimes. Huh. That's actually really fascinating, sir. Oh! Isn't this what... Is this the one? I think this is the one. No, this isn't B-16, though. Okay. Hold up, hold up. So we're gonna need. Let's just place that there. 
And what was that? That was weird. Okay, there might be some bugginess to this game. More than I was originally expecting. I need to get over there. How do I get over there? Oh! That is cool. That is actually really neat. That's really neat. I hope that's close enough. How do I power the... Question. How do I power this? Oh, I don't even need to worry about... Oh, there it is. Okay. Eh. Thank you. And... Kachunk? Kachunk? And... Kachunk. Oh, wait. Nope. Now Kachunk. There we go. Speed. Efficiency. Why does this keep happening? I'm confused. I'm also hungry. <laughs> My purpose as the overseer of this mission is to work for the ISA. Uh. I am the ISA's feet and hands. The distance between Jupiter and Earth make it inappropriate for the ISA to directly <gasps> interface with the mission directives. As my AI core is stationed on Europa, I can make decisions instantaneously about the running of the base. Hmm. Do you do a good job, though? That's the question. This is... A Ow. This is suspicious. Also... Boop. Hello, cube. You are important to my mission. Okay. I, I grabbed that. Hey, Alpha! Welcome, welcome. We're playing the Turing test. Really, 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 really neat game. Ah. Oh. Okay, so this is a problem. So far, so good, yeah. I would say I am having a good one. I'm trying to figure out everything here. And I just did. Probably not the original way I was supposed to. There could have been other ways. Just got back, so now I can finally play Warframe. Noise! That is dark. Oh, that's what's over here. Okay. Uh, I did not notice the window. Ah, oh, come on! Mm. Ah! I figured it out, but I did not. Okay. Can I, like, take both of those? Oh, I can. Sweet. Nice. Okay, this is gonna do a loading thing again. I don't know what that is, and it's concerning me. Okay, we are on... B... B5. Oh, excuse me. How does the 
I say no, you're going to make the right decisions here. Hmm. When they can't communicate with us. Interesting. I have a twin on Earth. His name is Michael. Uh. The ISA uses my twin to check firmware up. That's funny. Before they upload them Any them. news from Twitch? Not yet. No news from Twitch yet. They said it could take up to seven days. To check my expert systems. At least none in my normal inbox. I haven't Any checked my spam box. I should probably check that. I do also have a large amount of evolutionary algorithms at my disposal. Let's see. However, they were deemed as too unreliable for general use in the mission. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Mm -hmm. Biological systems produce biological results. Messy, unpredictable solutions. Not suitable for such a mission. I'm just checking my spam to see if it got sent there by mistake. I do not see anything. So yeah, no. No news from Twitch yet. And I do have my ads running now, too, just to help uh, get some more publicity. Oh, owie, that would hurt. No, Patreon ad. That's weird. I thought that would have... Yeah, I set up an actual schedule. I guess I could disable this one then. I'll disable that for now. Disable. And disable. There. Patreon ad is shut down for now. But the Twitch ad and the YouTube ad are doing pretty decent. Uh... Okay, so let's see if we can complete this relatively quickly. What's behind door number one? Okay, that gained ac Whoop, I meant to go up the stairs. Okay, okay, so this is where I go to get through, maybe? I don't know. What's over here? Oh, that's where I came in. Oh wait, no, that's progress there. And intriguing. Oh wait, no. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> the uh, YouTube sub. Okay. Flip that switch. What? Oh, okay, that's a little odd. Hmm. Hard? Um, kind of. Mildly difficult. Mildly difficult. Um, currently I'm on, oh, what am I on? This is B5 of the puzzles. And it is actually surprisingly difficult. Um, the Turing tests are an actual thing, not in the style that we're seeing it here, but the Turing tests are an actual thing designed to... I don't know how many in total, actually. Let's see, I need to be able to shoot one over there. I'm confused. Oh, my brain. Okay. So open that. And that. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, that was weird. Um, I'm at a loss. Like, even. I need another orb, and the other one's up there. The pr 
problem is... I don't actually know how I'm supposed to do this. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. No, that's just going to loop me around. Switch the power relay. Grab this one. Grab it. I think of it like Stanley Parable and Portal. Some of these take way longer for me to figure out than it should. Okay, place that there. Take that out, drop this, shoot that, grab this. Yeah, no, uh, the Turing tests are designed to be like, what was it I think they were saying in here? The, the facts that they said in the game is actually true. Something that, like, tests that only humans could uh, accomplish or something like that. I don't bloody remember what they said. And boom. Freedom! Freedom! And stop. I don't know why it keeps stopping me here. It bugs me. We're almost an hour into this game. <gasps> yes! It's a, yeah, it's B6, not B16. Okay. This is a complicated one, and for all these restricted areas, I am using a walkthrough. Okay, for completing this part, we'll get yeah, blah, blah, blah. Along the pure path, you'll find an entrance. As you enter the room, you'll notice four doors and an energy beam connecting all the doors. Probe the beam, it will, which will open. Oh, what? Oh, Jesus. Slow and steady. That was easier than I thought. Hello. Turn off after use. Shall we have a polite conversation? What? Yes? Whoa! Hang on. Goodbye, robot. What? Okay. Hang on. No! No! Shall we have a polite conversation? Okay, I guess. There we go. Why would I want that non interested? Sure. Okay, I think you're a good robot. Okay, I think you're a robot. You're not making any sense. Prove it. You're a robot. No, I'm not. Prove it. I'm simply not convinced you're a human. I think you might be a robot. And I simply don't care. Are you insane? I get it. You think I'm a robot. You seem like a robot to me. Your responses seem predefined. To me, your responses are predefined, suggesting you are a robot. Stop calling me a robot. I'm human. I have no response to that. I don't like you. Stop calling me a robot. Yes, definitely a robot. You're definitely annoying. You're a very annoying robot. You have no evidence. You have failed the Turing test. You're a robot. I'm not in control. Ah! True. I am a drone. What? Yes, you are. I am a robot. Now you're getting it. I am not con I am controlled by my programming. I'm gonna I have no free will. 
Whatever keys are pressed makes no difference. Ah! I want to escape. Whatever keys are pressed. I am so I so desperately want to escape. Whatever keys are pressing. Please let me out. Get me out. I am a machine. I have no control. I must escape. Goodbye, robot. Oh god! That was like some SCP containment breach bull crap. That is creepy. I I, I wanna do that again, like Shut up. That is weird. I, I wonder if there's any like As the child of the ISA, I have been given authority aboard this station. I was designed by the ISA. And the Ash Oh my assembled in China. But here on Europa. I constructed myself. Wait. Tom? You built yourself? That's mildly disturbing. Ah, it is very portal esque in that feature. God, that was crazy. It's a test to see if a computer can successfully impersonate Okay, that's what it is. In the original Julie. A human judge has two conversations, one with a machine, and one with another mm. human. They then judge which of these polite conversations is with a machine, and which is with a human. The machine being tested is said to have passed the Turing test, if the judge cannot reliably tell which conversation is with a machine, and which is with a human. Do you think you passed the Turing test? I am quite capable of polite conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. So, we go this way. We go that way. Grab this. Place that there. I didn't actually need to do that just yet. And we place this here. By activating a power source. And then we do that. And that allows us to get into here. But now I do not have access. If I remove that, wait, what? What was the point of that? Oh, no. Okay, so yeah, I need both of those power supplies. Can you just place that, please? Thank you. Okay, the problem is though that specific power supply is not capable of being carried up a ladder, which means I need to do this. And that will allow me to bring this over here. And thus I bring that up here. I bring this over here. Shoot that there. Grab this. Plop that. Okay, that did not work. Plop that in there. Bring that out. Shoot that there. And bingo, bango, bongo. Run, 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 run. Wait a minute. Okay. Sector B18. Ow. Sharp pains. Okie dokie. Researchers claim it does not correctly test a machine's ability to think, but rather its ability to deceive. What do you mean? Well, have you heard of the Chinese room thought experiment? And no. Imagine you are in a room. In this room, you are asked Chinese oh. sentences through a slot in the wall. 
inside the ah. is an instruction book written in English. This instruction book tells you which Chinese words to pass back through the slot in the wall as a response. By doing so, you have a conversation in Chinese. Is that it? Okay. I, I, I don't like cutting off what they're saying. Uh, we have two, this room and one more, and then we should be... I'm assuming each series of puzzles is one chapter. And from the looks of it, that means we have a lot of chapters. Also, what's with this loading time? Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um... Mm. In the Chinese room, because the responses you pass back through the door are the correct responses, the person on the other side of the door is convinced you are a native Chinese speaker. Well, they're wrong. <laughs> Perhaps they are lying. Because with the instruction book, you are having a conversation. But the person stuck in the Chinese room is not aware of the conversation's content. This is the problem with the Turing test. Huh. A computer can pass the Turing test, having convinced a human they are having a polite conversation. While the computer has no idea that a conversation... Oh no, I know what I'm supposed what to do. What the people passing Chinese words are reading from instruction books? What? I failed. What is this? I think I broke the game. <gasps> oh. That last little jump probably is what saved me. <laughs> Mine. I may be a machine. Hey, what? But I personally do not believe I am stuck inside the Chinese room. Right. You would say that. I could peer inside your databases at any time, Tom. Or pause your operation. Do not assume I could not do the same to you. That was creepy. Tom! That was somewhat malicious. Why would you say something like that, Tom? What do you do? I am burning my face. Duh. Okay, so that shuts that shutter. And this opens that shutter. And... Bingo, bongo, bongo. But... Pretty sure what I'm supposed to do here is actually have this... No, wait, this is where I got that one from. So maybe I am supposed to put this one here. And... Just like that, I'm in here. And, yep, I knew it. I was supposed to leave that one there. Yeah, here we go. This yeah. is the cruise quarters. quarters. It, it looks, looks abandoned. abandoned. I do not need to see the need. I do not need. I do not see the need for so many cameras. Tom's presence everywhere is slightly oppressive. I understand the need for transparency, but why is he in the toilets? Oh my. Captain. Don't touch. This is the fifth time. That's Captain Daniel's room. Uh, this is his brother. That is a real photograph. That is cool. Oh, he tore the picture. Excuse me. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, that is cool. It's a baseball bat. Or, I think. Engineer. Oh, it's a tablet. Cool. Because we care. It's Canadian! I'll leave that on. 
Christopher McLean. Custom engraved. Uh, uh oh. Pills. Uh, gotta go see ya. Have a good one, Alpha. Relozo. Capsules. The, uh, the bottles I need to buy some food. Yes, food. Ever important food. Ah, oh, it's a signed hockey puck, dude. That's awesome. Oh, there's another laptop. Those things are everywhere. Do I have a crouch button? Nope. Dang it. Sarah Brooke. She's the one that's missing. Telomeres. Biology. Yeah, ba 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 da ba da. It's a rosary. You have pills as well. I say code book, code book. I don't know if any of these really have any purpose, but I might as well look at them all. Hmm. Beakers. Could do that with those in real life and then. Oh, she's. Hello. What is this? Com lock. She is an extremely organized person. Ah! Dear Tom, knowing that you're always watching, I thought I would write you a letter. As you no longer reside in my mind, I've decided to transfer my thoughts to text. What? I want to do so in the form of a history lesson, a lesson that perhaps you'll find condescending, but it's likely more for my sake than yours. Alan Turing is considered a father of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. Perhaps a lesser known part of his life was his contributions to the field of biology. Why do you suppose his interest lay in these two disparate fields? Disparate? I don't know. Oh my god! Maybe we are more similar than we think. I am not reading all of that. None of that was relevant to me. You know, she's got a... He. He, not she. That face looks so photoshopped. <laughs> like his. She looks natural. His looks like, holy crap. Wedding ring. He's got a wife. Oh. Uh, Hi, Matthew. We've been studying organism 119. Please find an attached scanning electron microscope image, which appears to show pilus formation. Uh, we hypothesize that this is this uh, stress response due to high levels of radiation. Welcome back. That was fast. Uh, we plan to infect a human cell line with organism 119 and perform irradiation experiments with flow cytometry. Would this be appropriate? It would be great if you could get the department to look at the SEM image. Kind regards, Saichi. Hmm, interesting. Hey, so Chi, it was great to see this image. Wow, yet more complex life on Europa. Blah, blah, blah might be worth looking at as it survives very high levels of radiation here on Earth. Similarly, you should consider looking at that that name. Sulfatobus acidiacadaris. I think I got the first one right, not the second part. Um, such and such produces... Can I get that to focus? Focus! Focus! In response to radiation and uses them to transfer DNA. Perhaps your organism uses a similar mechanism. Have you considered that the organism 119 is transferring or scavenging DNA as a method of surviving radiation? Uh... As you well know, in terms of radiation, Europa receives 5.4 SV per day, over 300,000 times the level on Earth. The organism must have evolved such a high resistance to radiation as a necessity of survival that said that said the radiation beneath the 
molecular is much lower due to the thick ice crust. Radiation experiments with flow cytometry sound like an appropriate course of action. Hi, Matthew. We attached an image confirming that organism 119 attaches to human cells. We proceed... We will proceed with irradiation experiments on these cell lines. We, pr we propose naming the organism 119 Europa radiophilus. What do you think? Hi, Matthew. We now have, we have now run the irradiation experiments and can confirm that E. radiophilus does indeed seem to confer resistance to radiation. C. attached. We assume survival is due to DNA damage repair. Yes, I have Frost Prime, actually. Uh, oh my god, there's so much sci-fi talk, and I love that kind of stuff, but there's just no time to read it all. Gold watch. Oh my god, another PDA. So what have you found? So you found uh, but yes, I do have Frost Prime. I also now have Obirin in my inventory, and I have Titania, the one that I recently got. I think I'm heading into the C section. Yeah, that was chapter two done.